How's it going guys? I got a question here on the Mavic 2 Zoom. This comes from Mr. Wealth who says, does the zoom screw up exposure when shooting since you cannot control aperture? And that is a very good question and I've actually noticed when I am zoomed in all the way, some weird stuff starts to happen with the exposure. So here's a good example. It looks like this shot is normally exposed. Everything seems to be looking normal, but then when you zoom in, everything kind of starts to get overexposed and I have a couple of theories on why this is. First off, I think you're right about not being able to change the aperture. Since we don't have control over that, the drone kind of just does that itself. And when you zoom in, you have to go to a higher aperture, which is gonna make the image darker. So it compensates. And in that process, the exposure does change, which makes your footage look a little off. My second theory of why this could happen is if you actually update to the newest firmware that DJ just released for the Mavic 2 Zoom, there were a ton of updates and one of them was to increase the digital zooming. So the optical zoom range of the zoom is 24 to 48 millimeters, but if you update and are shooting in 1080p, it will actually crop in on the image all the way to 94 millimeters, I believe, which is super, super zoomed in. So why I bring that up is when you are cropping in on an image, like it does when you are zooming into 94 or 96, the exposure of just the center of the image is going to be slightly different than the exposure of the complete image. And the drone probably doesn't know that, so it's just exposing for the whole image, whereas when you crop in, oftentimes this will make it look a little bit darker. And I have noticed that with a few of my tests. Now for some solutions, uh, one thing that you could try is shooting in manual camera mode and then actually just looking at like the histogram and making sure everything looks correct there instead of just letting the camera work by itself. This is a little tedious because you have to think of yet another thing while you're operating the drone. I guess my only other solution would be for DJI in their next firmware update to just do a little bit better so that there isn't this large change of exposure and compensation and stuff like that just to make the image look really well. Don't get me wrong though, they did a fantastic job with this guy right out of the box. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, I think this guy is literally the best drone on the market right now. That's gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for some more videos as a plane goes overhead. Thank you for watching and as always, don't forget to keep it pro. Peace out. Excuse me, mister, I am trying to film a video here.